So once you've downloaded the version of PyCharm you want to install, head over to your downloads folder, right click and open in terminal. So I can use the LS uh, to list all the items in the download folder. You can see that this is what I've downloaded, PyCharm Professional. So what I need to do now is uh, extract uh, this file. So I do that utilizing the tape archive command, tar, and then I use uh, the switch X uh, to give the command to extract. And then I'm gonna be utilizing uh, gzip and then F uh, to tell the command that the next, the next command uh, or the next name will be the archive that we want to extract, which is gonna be um, pycharm professional blah, 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 dot gz. So that's gonna extract. That would probably take a couple of seconds. Once it's extracted, we now have this line again. So if I type in ls again, you can see now we've got a new folder called pycharm. So uh, let's head in, in head into that folder. Uh, and we'll do a list again. And you can see now we've got a folder called bin. So we need to head into that bin. So the next step is uh, if I list what's inside the bin folder, I have a pycharm.sh um, file, and that's the file that I need to uh, run to run the installation. So um, I type in sh pycharm dot or pycharm sorry dot sh, and that's going to then start the graphical interface. So if you do have a a license, uh, type in the license. So I type in my license information and then you're presented with the welcome screen. So from here, uh, we can select uh, the project we want to create. So let's go ahead and create a new Django project. I'm going to select um, a new folder called VACAD. And then you can see it's going to create a new virtual environment and where it's going to create that virtual environment. So that's all selected. Um, environment location directory is not empty. So I've already created a, a project with that name. So I create a new project and then I can press create. So you can see that uh, this is Ubuntu 19.10. Uh, so by default, we seem to have this um, module error. Now what we can do is we can um, install these tools. So we need to type in, type in sudo um, app get install uh, python3 and then the dist utils. Okay. There we go. So we install that. So now those are installed. Uh, let's head back to start uh, PyCharm again. We're going to need to open up the uh, terminal. Now it's going to be easier for you just to uh, right click on downloads and open in terminal if you're not familiar with the terminal. Inside here, if you remember, we've got a folder here called PyCharm. So again, if I go to downloads, PyCharm, we need this bin again. So inside of this bin, if you remember, is the uh, pycharm.sh. So that's basically going to start the program. So if I do it sh and then pycharm, that's going to then start the program. There we go. So now we've installed uh, the tools that we needed. You can see that there's no errors on load up. So let me just start a uh, a new project again. Um, so we can have a new project called Untitled Two. Um, so these are the settings, and you can now see that this project will run or start successfully. So from here. This is your product folder. You've got the virtual environment in this folder. 
this is your Django app. Uh, so we can select this folder and then press run and that will then run the server. And then from here, we can navigate to the server and you can see that Django is running. So that's the environment set up for Django.